What's up guys, what's going on? Welcome to RGH Tech TV. And today let's see some basic to advanced useful tips and tricks for Redmi 3S Prime. Uh, make sure to watch this video till then so that you don't miss on any important points. Let's start from the lock screen itself. And uh, from the lock screen itself, you can turn on or turn off the flashlight or the torch. So for that, you'll have to press and hold on the home button and uh, you don't need to go to home screen or quick toggles to do this. Uh, and as you could see, uh, it uh, turned off pretty quickly and to make it stay a little bit longer what you can do is you can press and hold on the home button turn it on and then press the power button and it will stay on uh, until you again press the power button and as you can see if you press the power button it'll turn off it's pretty easy uh, one more thing which you can do is you can uh, enable this notification tray uh, from the settings uh, which i'll let you do later on and uh, you have this toggle here so you don't need to do this uh, power button thing for that what you can do is you can quickly just tap on the start icon and it will stay uh, as long as you want it to do. So as you can see, you can uh, again quickly uh, turn off this torch. And from the lock screen itself, you can quickly launch uh, the camera application and uh, take a snap if you want to. And uh, you can also, as I told you, you can uh, quickly go to this uh, notification tray or the quick toggles and uh, one more thing which you can do is you can you have something called as wallpaper carousel i'll let you know a little bit later on uh, about that and this one also has fingerprint scanner so let's quickly go to the home screen and as you could see it was pretty fast now the fingerprint scanner here not only adds security to the device but you can also lock applications and for that you'll have to go to security and uh, you'll have to uh, go, you can see the two icons on the top uh, right corner so one is for settings and uh, one is for this app lock so you can go here let's enter the pattern and you can lock applications so i have uh, locked four applications as you can see play store flipkart gallery and browser and uh, once you try to open up these applications for example let's try to open this play store it will ask uh, for the authentication and uh, you can give it as you can see it uh, unlocked uh, that application pretty easily uh, now one more thing what you can do is uh, i actually had mentioned in my after five days uh, thoughts after five days video saying that uh, uh, it's not been implemented rightly there are some issues but uh, actually if i found out the settings guys uh, see uh, if you are in this menu you can go to the settings icon on the top right corner and it does allow you to uh, ask for authentication once you exit the application which i wanted and you can also uh, like uh, ask for authentication after the device is locked so you can choose between these things i need like after exiting the application or after closing the application or after clearing it from RAM, I need it to ask for authentication and it does perfectly fine. I'll just show you once more. Let's try opening Play Store and uh, it does, uh, once you give the authentication, it does open up pretty quickly. So again, if you try to access this, as you can see, it asks authentication uh, every time I try to open this. And this is how an application uh, lock should be, you know, enabled. Now through fingerprint scanner itself, you can enable or disable, you can authenticate the child mode as well i'll let you know what uh, it does for that you'll have to go to settings and uh, we do have this child mode so once you enter this mode here you can turn on this child mode and you can select what applications are better for your kid so i have selected amazon kindle asphalt 8 browser and a calculator so let's keep this and once you press the home button or back button uh, it will direct you to this menu so from here you can exercise some parental control deciding what applications your kid can access so he'll be only you know allowed to access these applications and uh, nothing apart from this so if he tries to exit this it will ask for the authentication so to come out of this mode it does need a pattern or the fingerprint sensor so it's good that uh, we can uh, you know enable or disable this or authenticate this through fingerprint sensor and now if you have to move out of this menu you'll have to turn off this child mode and then you can hit home button to come to this normal mode now even though it's a 5 inch device, pretty handy in fact, uh, but also we do have single handed mode on this through which you can shrink the display size to 3.5 inch or 4 inch and I'll let you know how to do that and also let you know how to enable or disable that feature. So to enable or disable that you have, you'll have to go to settings and you'll have to go to additional settings and here you'll have to enable it from one handed mode and I'll let you know how it works out to be. So you can swipe from the home screen towards back or towards menu button to get the uh, screen which uh, has been shrinked to 4 inch or 3.5 inch on the right side or on the left side respectively. So if you slide uh, the finger from home button to back, it will enable one-handed mode, the single-handed mode on the right side 
and you can also shift between uh, right or left as you can see and you can also access the settings from here itself so if you want to have a 4 inch or 3.5 inch you can do it from here itself and to go back to a normal mode what you can do is now here one thing which i have to mention is notification tray quick toggles all the menu buttons will all work perfectly fine with this uh, mode no issues with that and uh, now to shift to normal mode what, what you can do is uh, you can move from the menu button or the back button towards the home button as you can see uh, it uh, just got to the normal mode now to add more convenience to this device you can swipe anywhere uh, on the home screen to get to quick toggles or the notification tree which is very good but uh, one thing you have to make sure is this feature won't work on uh, third-party launchers and even it did not work on Google no launcher so under additional settings itself we do have something called as a, a shortcut menu through which uh, so it's a floating icon uh, which can be you know like uh, moved across the screens and it's actually visible across the screen so it houses some of the shortcuts and also you can configure it to house uh, applications as well so it does have back home menu button screenshot and you can also configure it to have an application i'll let you know how to do that so let's go to additional settings shortcut menu and uh, let's go to select shortcuts and if you think like okay you don't need a back button then you can configure it to have uh, some of the applications uh, which you believe you can quickly launch from here itself so let's launch a calculator and as you can see we have set it so here we can quickly launch calculator from here itself which is a very good thing so let's uh, close this for now now we do have an option of moving multiple applications from one home screen to another and for that you'll have to press and hold on the menu button and it does give us an option of move apps so click on this and then uh, select the applications which you want to move and go to the home screen of your choice and then uh, click on these applications and as you can see they will be you know aligned from uh, left top corner towards the right and if you want to align these according to your choice you can also do this thing so, which is pretty handy and pretty convenient as well so you can use this feature no issues with this all right so let's uh, quickly move on with uh, messaging and its shortcuts now before i do this i'll let you know one quick tip so if you have any headphones guys and uh, as you can see these are me capsule earphones which i have uh, recently unboxed uh, review is uh, coming on my channel so make sure you're subscribed and uh, i'll let you know quick tips with this uh, headphones or earphones whatever you call it so if you go to music application and uh, you can actually it does have three buttons as you can see so using the plus or minus button you can control the volume as you can see and uh, using this uh, center button you can play or uh, pause the song and uh, what you can do is you can actually uh, double tap on this one uh, to move to the next song so as you can see move to the next song and uh, you can triple tap on this one to move to the previous song so it's pretty convenient guys and uh, not only that guys but if you go to camera application from here itself uh, using these volume buttons you can capture uh, the picture as you can see be it plus or minus both work perfectly fine with this one and not only that but uh, as you're in the camera application you can also use this uh, volume buttons to uh, capture the picture as you can see sorry sorry, sorry. and uh, you can also configure it like if you go to settings uh, you can configure it to zoom as well uh, if i can find the settings for you so uh, as you can see we have a uh, feature here like a volume button function so if you click on this you can you know configure the volume buttons to zoom or uh, to set the volume or you can use it as a shutter button so both the volume buttons plus or minus work perfectly fine with this one all right no issues with this all right guys now let's quickly see messaging application its features and some of the tips it has now the keyboard has some shortcuts so you can press and hold on the enter button and then you can enter the single handed mode it's not of a much use as it's a very compact device but there is an option you can use it if you want to you can shift between left hand or right hand and you can also go to full screen mode not only that let's type in something and i'll just show you one more thing so using the space bar you can move between the words or alphabets and uh, if you want to correct something then you can use this feature and not only that guys it also has this plus mark using this we can send contacts pictures you know you can take a photo and then send it from here itself it also has something called as timed messaging so if you want to wish uh, someone for his or her birthday then you can use this feature you can set the date and time and also pre-compose the message and send it to that person 
on that particular day and time so which is a very handy you can use this feature if you want to this phone also has call recording feature and I'll let you know how to do that and then let's you know I'll go to the call screen and from here itself you can record the calls as you can see you can uh, record from uh, this uh, call screen itself or else uh, let's cancel this and uh, what you can do is uh, once you're in the dial itself you can move on to uh, this extendable menu button in the right top corner and you can go to settings and here you have the option of call recording so you can access many other things like you can uh, automatically set to record all the calls and you can have the selected numbers or you can also record automatically all the numbers or all the contacts you have on your phone so this is a pretty handy feature guys you can you know explore this you can these it has many settings with respect to calling and other functionality you can explore that a little bit later all right guys now let you know one interesting thing we do have these touch capacitive buttons and for your information they do not light up now there is a feature wherein we can disable these uh, uh, capacitive touch buttons and for that you'll have to go to quick toggles and uh, we have an option called as buttons so click on that and uh, these touch capacitive buttons will be disabled as you can see they do not work and uh, if you want to make it work you can uh, again enable it from the quick toggles or you can double tap on any of these buttons as you can see uh, now they are working perfectly fine now where this can be used is uh, practically this can be used if you're playing games and uh, if you don't want to interrupt your gameplay by accidentally hitting these uh, you know touch capacitive buttons you can use this feature now if you want to access more settings regarding these buttons then you can go to settings then uh, you can go to additional settings and you can go to buttons and here you know you can configure these uh, buttons uh, to perform some action on long press so I've kept long press on the home button to open Google now and you can also assign some things to back button and also multitasking button and there are many things here these uh, capacitive touch buttons or the navigation buttons can also be disabled for select applications. so if you think that uh, uh, you want these automatically disabled for asphalted well you do have that option so you can uh, enable or you can ask to disable all right guys now let me quickly open up some of the applications and uh, let's go to multitasking tray i want to show you one setting over there so now we have opened a couple of uh, applications here and uh, if you don't want this to be in this uh, large icons then you can make it as small icons by pinching in and uh, pinching out you can make it make them as large icons and uh, you can also lock them to their positions so that uh, even if you clear the ram uh, these applications will be in the memory and uh, you can access them easily and to unlock these also you can you know use the same gesture you can uh, lock or unlock these applications from here itself which is a very good thing and then let's clear the ram as of now all right guys now quickly jump into another feature which is very interesting and it's called as hiding pictures or hiding photos so what you can do is you can go to gallery and uh, let's uh, open up randomly any of the picture here for example let's open this and uh, let's try hiding this for that you'll have to tap on this then go to more and then you can add to hidden album and now I'll show you how to access this hidden album so you can go to gallery and then uh, you can go to uh, you know cloud over here photos offline and then cloud if you can see that rightly you can go to cloud and then you can uh, use your two or three fingers and then drag it down and as you can see uh, I have already set it up uh, so initially it will ask uh, you to set up the pattern or the pin and then I have uh, set up the pattern and once you open this uh, you will have access to uh, okay okay you will have access to this uh, uh, hidden album and as you can see we have added this photo to the hidden album so you can use this it's pretty handy guys I'm pretty much using this so if you have some photos which you don't want to show to others then you can use this feature and not only that this phone also has guest mode to it so if you turn it on uh, as you can see it says it will hide messages notes photos settings and incoming calls so, so let's say okay and now if you open gallery uh, it will be you know like uh, completely empty as you can see and uh, now let me turn off the guest mode and then uh, we'll see uh, how it works out to be so if you now press gallery uh, we do have uh, uh, many pictures as you can see right so this is also a very important feature you can also try it out okay now let's uh, now one very important application on this phone is security application through this i've already showed you that we can you know access uh, uh, application lock and apart from this we can also control data usage that is restrict the data usage 
and also you can control what applications uh, can use Wi-Fi or 3G. So if you feel that Flipkart application should not turn on while uh, the uh, on 4G or on 3G, then you can turn it off and it can be accessed only through Wi-Fi. So this is one thing which you should make a note of. So you can control what applications can access your Wi-Fi and 4G and uh, this is very important application, very important feature according to me. So once you uh, get back to this main menu of the security, here you can also block list numbers. Uh, so if you uh, want to restrict the calls or messages from that number, you can do it from here itself. You also have many battery profiles uh, like marathon, default or sleep and then you can switch between them. And then you can you also have scheduled power on off which you can access from here itself, uh, which is also a good thing. And not only that, we also have virus scan and then you can clear the junk from here itself. And also you have permissions which will actually let you control what applications can access uh, your microphone or uh, your camera so camera is being accessed by so many applications and if you want to disable uh, you can disable it from here itself and uh, not only that but uh, we also have something called as auto start so there are some applications which uh, you know like they uh, auto start once this uh, phone reboots or something like that and hence you can uh, uh, enable or disable those applications from here itself so if you feel that uh, facebook is draining a lot of battery and you do not want it to uh, start uh, at the uh, you know at the fresh boot of the device then you can disable it from here itself uh, likewise you can control many other settings from here so regarding permissions and also you have some settings over here you can access uh, many things from here and uh, one more interesting thing which i want to let you know is about reading mode and this is a feature which i'm practically using it and i'll let you know what it does let's go to display and then let's go to uh, reading mode and then you know like let's turn it on so it actually acts as a blue light filter so if you have a habit of uh, reading late night on the bed then you can use this feature so it turns complete UI uh, into that uh, blue light filter mode wherein uh, uh, it, it uh, reduces stress on the eyes and uh, makes the content look pretty good so you can also you know adjust the strength and uh, you have many settings here which you can access and you also have like uh, uh, you can turn it on uh, for the selected applications as well and uh, or you can use it for all apps so these are the things which you can control over here and uh, this is a very practical feature guys i'm really liking this feature now we also have a mode called as light mode which is very important for elders and also kids i'll let you know what it does let's turn it on for the time being so as you can see you have these large icons big text and uh, only necessary applications and contacts. So this actually is very helpful for elderly people or kids. So if you, or if you feel that uh, the UI is a lot of confusing, you have a lot of features, then definitely you can try using this feature. And you know, to disable this, you can go to settings and then you can go to uh, system settings. And then from here, we can, you know, again, switch back to normal mode. So again, it lasts for the reboot. Let's just say okay, and then it'll boot into uh, the normal mode. All right, guys, now let's quickly try to customize this device. So you can pinch in to get to settings where you can change wallpapers, add widgets, and also add effects. So we do have a lot of effects over here. Let's uh, put it on to this crossfade effect. And as you can see, uh, it does have this nice crossfade effect across home screens. And you have another way to access these settings that is press and hold on the menu button and you can access uh, these settings, which is uh, pretty handy. Now, one of the best things here to customize is uh, having a theme engine and it's best across uh, uh, the brands, I would say. So if you go to theme engine, themes, theme store, and it's a pretty pragmatic feature, guys. Uh, you actually tend to use this more than often and you have access to a lot many things over here you can change the wallpaper you can change the icons you can change the notification tray and also messaging application dialer you can change every aspect of the phone which makes it look uh, very good and uh, not only that guys but we can also customize this uh, quick toggles over here and i'll let you know how to do that so for that let's go to settings and uh, let's go to notifications and status bar and here we have something called as toggle positions here you can change the position of these icons. So if you wanna have this silent menu on the second row, I can have that. Uh, so if you see, uh, we have the silent on the second row and you can also put it onto the third row just to test it. And uh, as you can see, uh, it's on the third row now. So you can uh, uh, select like what applications uh, should take what uh, positions or what settings can take what positions you can decide it from here itself and uh, at the beginning of this video i had told you about uh, uh, showing the notification tray on the lock screen you can enable or disable this feature 
from here itself uh, so if we disable it and uh, now if you go to lock screen uh, you cannot access this uh, notification tray as you can see but if you enable uh, you can well uh, access the notification tray uh, from uh, the lock screen itself as you can see I'll just let you know that once again as you can see you can access this uh, notification tray and quick toggles from the lock screen itself all right now one more important thing for customizations is uh, it automatically changes the wallpaper of this uh, lock screen it's called as lock screen carousel and for that you'll have to go to settings then you'll have to go to wallpaper and uh, you can choose the wallpaper here and here as you can see uh, the lock screen uh, wallpaper carousel is being enabled so if you enable this uh, it will automatically change uh, the lock screen wallpapers by itself which is a very good thing and if you want to manually change the uh, lock screen wallpaper so, so you don't need to go to wallpaper settings for that you can change it from here itself and here we do have on the right top corner we do have an icon so you can click on this and then uh, you can you know uh, change uh, different uh, wallpapers from here itself so if you feel that this is pretty cool then you can set it and uh, now from now the lock screen wallpaper will be uh, this giraffe's wallpaper which is a very good thing you can have a look at it now quickly let's jump into camera application and we do have some uh, shortcuts and some features over there so you can access uh, so once you go to video mode you can access this uh, time-lapse uh, settings and uh, if you're not happy with this you can go with Microsoft's uh, hyperlapse uh, application which is also you know which also performs the same action which is pretty good in fact uh, so you can try out that application as well now this uh, once you go to photo mode uh, you do have uh, something called as the straighten I'll let you know what this is this is pretty important feature guys let me bring in an object for you and as you can see no matter how you hold the phone uh, it will try to capture the picture uh, uh, in, in, a, in a straight way I'll just let you know that see I'm holding it uh, you know uh, 30 degree or 45 degree towards the right and uh, I'll capture a picture and as you can see it uh, tends to capture the picture uh, straight in a straight way as you can see right so this feature is also pretty handy you can have a look at this feature all right guys now let's quickly see some of the miscellaneous things now, firstly i'll let you know how to enable the network speeds so no matter what if you're connected to 4g or wi-fi it will show you at what speeds uh, the phone is connected to the network for that let's go to notifications and then let's go to uh, show connection speed and if you enable this as you can see my phone is connected to 4g and it also shows the network speeds which I'm getting which is a pretty cool feature guys try enabling this and not only that but I'll also show you how to uh, as you can see the battery is now in just graphical but I'm not able to see the percentage and to enable that you'll have to go to settings and you'll have to go to additional settings and here we have to select battery and here as you can see we have an option called as battery indicator so select it and then go for percentage so as you can see we have the battery indicator in percentage which is very handy and very good and not only that guys let's go to settings and also let's go to this notifications again i want to tell about app notifications a little bit so for example if you want uh, the notifications of particular application to be shown on the top list when you have uh, 10 different uh, notifications for 10 different applications then well you can set priority as well which is very important see if i feel that uh, notifications for asphalt 8 should be shown on the top list uh, of the following notifications then well i can set it to priority and all the notifications with respect to asphalt 8 will be on the top list so which is a very good thing which you can enable it from here itself and next off I just want to let you know about one widget actually see a lot of people actually ask me how to set alarms and all so which is basic thing but I'll let you know see uh, you'll have to pinch in and then you'll have to add a widget here so you can select this clock widget here and let's select this one and then let's hit back and then let's close this one right so once you hit this uh, clock widget so here you can set the alarms you can also have access to stopwatch you can also have access to timer so it's uh, like a combination of uh, multiple applications in one itself so you can have this one on the home screen as i have so this will be very helpful so try having this one and uh, now let's see the text size thing so as you can see we have uh, this uh, up to double xl which is very large i'll just show you that as you can see it's pretty large but if you're not yet satisfied with this one I do have another thing let's set to medium and then uh, let's go to additional settings and here uh, we have something called as accessibility and uh, you can turn on this magnification gestures and I'll let you know what it does 
so you can triple tap on the home button and it will magnify so by pinching in or pinching out you can uh, adjust the amount of magnification it has and by using single finger you can move between the pages and by using two fingers you can move in the same page and to get back to normal mode you can again triple tap on the home button so pretty simple pretty easy and pretty handy feature as well guys now we also have something called as a me mover and me drop which i want to let you know so let's go to additional settings once again and we have this something called as me mover so it's synonymous to motorola migrate so if you're setting up uh, your device for the first time and if you want to move contacts or messages or any data from your old phone to new phone you can do using this application which is a very good thing and we also have something called as me drop which you can uh, enable from the quick toggles as you can see so this me drop is synonymous to share it so you can access it from the file manager itself or the file explorer as you can see from here you can access this me drop select the applications and the, and send them from here itself which is also very cool and very good thing and finally guys i want to let you know one important thing we spend 90% of our times on browser and selecting a good browser is also very important. See, uh, you can go with UC browser, the normal version, it's fine. Uh, or else you can go with Chrome. I would suggest you to go with Opera Mini and the reasons would be like, first thing is it saves the data. Second thing is it has inbuilt uh, reading mode or you can say the blue light filter. So uh, no matter what phone it is, but uh, try using this Opera Mini, it will be helpful. As you can see, we, uh, we have something called as night mode and you can enable this and then it actually dims down the display and it will help you if you're reading on the bed late night. So this is pretty useful and handy feature guys. Please try this out. So I believe I have covered most of the part and if you feel this video is informative, give it a thumbs up, share this video with your friends and family, subscribe to our channel for more videos like this, follow us on Twitter at RGH Tech TV and most importantly, thanks for watching and I'll see you real soon.